Do you find yourself picking and choosing what you want to do? It's a kind of funny thing that we do as individuals, right? We don't simply take all the coaching or all the lessons. We pick and choose from here and there. But then we end up with a mixture of results, too. Hi, I'm Bill Gallagher, Scaling Coach, host of the Scaling Up Business Podcast. And at Scaling Coach, we've got hundreds of tools and ideas and stories about how people have beaten the odds and successfully scaled their company. In addition to all the free things that we've got there, we've also got low-cost coaching options to help you get started, help you scale up more easily, no matter what business you're in, no matter what the economy looks like, and no matter what part of the world you're from. ScalingCoach.com. So, I'm working with a company not too long ago, uh, really, and I found that in very short order, we were able to produce millions of dollars of benefit in this business, like in the first four months, really huge impacts right away. But then we began to have some issues where the owner was really compromised with stuff. And the deal was is that they were really picking and choosing. They were only willing to try on the coaching that felt good, that felt like it most addressed what the problems they had. But then quickly they started to see that they had problems that they didn't anticipate because in the coaching relationship, we were seeing things that they weren't yet seeing and suffering from, right? And I think this is true of all of us, right? It would be kind of funny, like if you went to join a leading sports team and you said, I want to go to the Super Bowl and I want to be a player that, that goes on to the World Series or I want to play in the NBA Finals or, you know, whatever it is. And then you told that coach who had some great experience with this thing, yeah, I don't really feel that. I don't want to go run through the tires. I don't want to do that thing. I don't want to do those kind of push-ups or those drills or whatever it is. That's just not my path, right? And yet, as entrepreneurs, we do that kind of nonsense all the time. My coaching to you is that the coaching from scaling up the Rockefeller habits are not based on the best wisdom of Bill. They're based on the wisdom collected from many, many business leaders. Scaling up is a best of framework. And the Rockefeller habits are distilled from one of the richest uh, businessmen of modern history. And based on the learnings collected from hundreds of coaches across thousands and thousands of companies. So it's really useful to begin to take that coaching and then start to get that. Now, uh, this company did that. They went on to, uh, they started to embrace all the coaching and look for things and they avoided some of the costly multi-million dollar mistakes that I've had in my career. I hope this is helpful. You'll find these things and more at scalingcoach.com and wherever you get your podcasts and videos. 